if you are a coach or a consultant and you've been hearing people talk about like pricing, how you need to increase your prices and maybe a little nervous or maybe you already are selling high ticket coaching and consulting and you thinking about raising your prices. Well, in this episode of the podcast, I'm going to talk to you about what happens once you increase your prices and what that'll do for your business. And that's all coming up next. And we doing it all solo dolo today. Stick around. <laughs> Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to the LVTV podcast. My name is LV and we talk all things content, clients and cash flow for the profit and impact focus coaches and consultants. And today we're going to talk about pricing, 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 pricing. What happens when you increase your prices and what that does for your coaching or consulting business. Now, over the weekend, I had the pleasure of speaking at the Cashflow Factory uh, live experience. So I was down in Atlanta, went down to speak. Shout out to Client Attraction University, the squad, Marquel Russell, Big Bro, Dre, Andre Gaskin. And they allowed me to speak. And on the way there, you know me, if I got some free time, I love to learn, to keep learning. So I was listening to the audible version of this book here, uh, $100 million offers from Alex her mosey and he was breaking this down i just gotta share it with you today because i think it's really gonna like give you an aha moment of not only why should you increase your your prices but actually what happens once you do so i got my notes uh here so let's jump straight into it right number one what happens when you increase your prices even if you're already selling high ticket is that your you increase your client's emotional investment into your program right I'll give you an example like i spent like 27 dollars on a training about a month ago and to be honest i haven't even logged in to start the training but i promise you boo boo if i were to charge or pay twenty seven thousand dollars for uh a training or some coaching i would have already been there i would have shut everything down and would have got top priority in my life because it would have increased my emotional investment and when you increase that emotional investment you get people who show up to your calls on time they have questions and they're actually putting in some action it's going to be a running theme when we talk about when what happens when you increase your prices so number one you increase their emotional investment then number two you increase the client's perception of value that you bring so they're already seeing that hey I'm, you, you you charge this this number this high ticket number and then you even increase it some must be with this it must be some real value here because because again, $27 training, it wasn't that valuable or perceived value, and I haven't even logged in to do it. But if you charge $27,000, they are like, oh my God, I'm gonna get everything I need to get the results and the transformation that I'm looking for. So you increase the client's perception of value that you bring. And then thirdly, what happens when you increase your prices, even if you're already selling high ticket, is that you get clients results faster. Right, just appear like they get results faster because they're so invested because they spent so much money. I always say it, if you heard me on Clubhouse, the skin and the game effect. The more skin in the game, the more they're gonna actually do the work. And if they actually do the work and they're coachable, they're gonna get the results and the transformation that they signed up to get when they want to work with you. So again, these are some things that you wanna just think about when you're considering increasing your prices or raising your prices, or if you just even wanna like dive in to doing high ticket coaching and consulting. And then last but not least, it's probably one of the most important that I think is um, for you, the coach, is that you attract your best clients once you raise those rates once you raise those prices once you stay on the high ticket side you're going to start attracting people who are serious because again $27 versus $27,000 I'm showing up, I'm putting in the work, and I'm not playing around at $27,000. But $27, I haven't even logged in. So I'm probably not their best client so far, and, they, and I don't have any results to, 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 to uh, accumulate or even share for them to even have a testimony. But at $27,000, Folks are going to show up. Very few people are going to spend that type of money and not get results or be uh, just an A1 client and student for your program. So again, a lot of this comes out of this book right here, $100 million offers. I'm always learning and reading some of the stuff I've already said to you before if you've been following me uh, on social media, but I want to reiterate it. 
what happens when you increase or raise your your prices or your rates as a coach or consultant even if you're already doing high ticket coaching and consulting so my name is lv this is a beautiful episode from the lv tv podcast thank you guys so much for tuning in and if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe rate and review this podcast i would love to see it it means a lot when i see your reviews man it makes me just like for real seriously i get like warm on the inside and i'm so thankful and appreciate appreciative of you now until our next episode next week continue to be social on social media